Hey everybody, today is March 30th and we've got one of Breezy's pups going home this morning to Wisconsin. And so we're just waiting for that family to arrive and pick up their pup. And we wanted to do a last minute playtime with them all together, all of Breezy's pups. And we do still have Willow's gray and Willow's orange um, still here with us. Willow's orange is going home in a couple weeks and Willow's gray actually going potty over there at the moment. How's that for a shot? Um, is available. So we've had several people inquire about um, the current sizes of the pups and things like that. So we're going to give you an updated report on all the pups and their sizes and some of, uh, you know, another up close shot of their faces and everything there. So we will proceed with kind of working down our list and going one by one with them for you. So I'll set up the camera and we'll give you an update with them. Show you them here really fast. We'll do these two kind of side by side. Say hello to the camera. So Willow's boy, Mr. Orange, he is on my right, your left, I believe. And right now, Mr. Orange is 11.97 pounds. So he's the biggest out of everybody. These two are also the oldest. And Miss Gray is not far behind him at 11.7 pounds. So she is right in line with a full-size gal and expected to be you know, a full-size female at uh, maturity. And then also something that we've learned about Miss Gray is she just has the slightest underbite. It's hard to tell. And if you don't know what to look for, you might miss it. You basically have to kind of pry her lips back and you can see that she has the slightest underbite. But as you can see in comparison with Mr. Orange, um, it, it would be hard to tell the difference otherwise between the two unless you pry her lips back. We don't anticipate that, that will be an issue going down the road with her at maturity. I really don't envision anything like she's gonna end up looking like a bulldog or something like that. We just learned about her underbite recently at the vet visit when the vet pried her lips back and we hadn't noticed her earlier and we wanted to just be transparent, let people know she just has the slightest underbite. So I'm sure there's probably somebody out there that perhaps maybe had an overbite or an underbite as a kid or something like that. And you may see Miss Gray with her underbite and feel like you just found your soul sister. So anyways, just kind of a cosmetic thing. Nothing really to be concerned about, but we did want to share that little bit of information about her. So that is Willow's pup's current size and kind of a new updated up close shot of their faces. Okay, next we're gonna go to Breezy's purple and pink. I'll try to get them together at the same time. Okay, so we've got Breezy's purple on my left and Breezy's pink on my right. And this is these two together. Purple is 9.1 pounds. So she's good size for her age. Um, these guys are eight weeks old today. So they are good size for their age. And Miss Pink is slightly behind at 8.9 pounds. So that is Breezy's purple and pink. Hope you enjoyed this little up close view of them. And just to be prepared, this is a morning video and these pups do not want to hold still. So they've had a little bit of play time, but they will want to go and go. It may not slow down very much for this video when I try to hold them, but we'll do our best. So next up, we've got Breezy's gray and Breezy's yellow on my list. And where's Miss Yellow at? She's in the bucket. She's probably in the little obstacle hiding from us. There she is. Oh, 
Okay, so, whoops, sorry pups. These pups are not super feet smart yet. You gotta watch your step with them. So I've got Breezy's gray in my left hand and Breezy's yellow in my right. Breezy's gray was 7.6 pounds. I had to just make sure that wasn't a nine. She's 7.6 pounds and Breezy's yellow is 8.7 pounds. So that is the up close look of these two gals from Breezy. And next we have Breezy's teal and then we'll do Mr. Red. So, so we got teal right here by my toes and Mr. Red, we'll find him. He's not too far away over by Katie. So I've got teal in my left hand and Mr. Red in my right hand. There's going to be quite the difference between these two. Teal is 7.2 pounds. She's not a runt by any stretch. Um, a seven to eight pound puppy at this age, at an eight week old age, is totally normal. Um, she's just on the small side of normal compared to her litter mates. And then Red, he's on the big side of normal at 9.25 pounds. So he's a good sized boy and full size for his age. So that is Breezy's Teal and Breezy's Red. Next, we've got Breezy's Dark Blue and Breezy's Light Blue. Okay, so we've got Breezy's light blue in my left hand and Breezy's dark blue in my right hand. And so light blue is 8.95 pounds and dark blue is just a slightly bit bigger at 9.06 pounds. So very close in size together and that's the way they were when they were born. So they continued to kind of hold pace with each other. So good look at light blue and dark blue right here. So that's those two boys. And last but not least, we've got Breezy's orange and Breezy's brown. So it's Breezy's orange and Breezy's brown. These two boys are just they are the big boys of the group. So very fun to see their size as large as they are at this age. Orange is on my left, brown's on my right. Orange is 10.5 pounds. He is a big boy, just gorgeous big size to him. And brown is 9.96 pounds. So also a big boy for this age. And these two boys are the ones that are sporting their forehead marks. You may be able to see that in the camera. So that unique feature coming through from genetics uh, from a long ways back is a little bit of the part of the heritage that they're showing from the breeds that were created to make the Visla. We don't see that. We haven't seen that before in our lines, but we have with this litter. So kind of unique. So that is Mr. Orange and Mr. Brown. And we hope you've liked this kind of updated up close shot of all these pups. And now we'll let you see them playing around again. <laughs>